Hi everyone, this is Christopher Casey, uh, the con campaign organizer for the Hear Us Now, Stop the Comcast Mega Merger Campaign. Um, as all of you know, I just emailed most of you, or really all of you, um, with the primary goal of setting up a time to speak with you about sort of the next steps in the campaign. I want to get some of your thoughts. And because I emailed a lot of you, <laughs> it is much more efficient um, to use this method and essentially this tool, which is called Calendly, which is a simply a, a wonderful tool to schedule times with folks when it works best for both people. Okay, both, and there are all types of appointments and, and meetings that you can do, as you can see down here. Okay, um, but I mostly personally use this, both in my personal and my professional life, for calls um, and meetings, <laughs> essentially. But there are a lot more here that you can use it for. Okay, um, so the goal here really is just a quick tutorial to teach you how to do this because I know some of you may be very familiar with these types of tools. There are a lot already out there right now, and some of you just may not. Um, and I just want to give you this quick tutorial so that you know how to sign up a time to meet with me. Okay. And then one final thing I want to say is that I know there are going to be some times here that don't work for some of you, and that's totally fine. Um, I will address what we'll do in that situation as soon as this tutorial is over. Okay. So the very first thing that I want you to do is sort of pause this video and go to the email that I sent you and click on the link in that email and then come back. Okay. So go ahead and pause and then we'll get started. Okay, so all of you should have probably in another window on your computer the link in the email that I sent you to set up the call. Okay, um, and essentially when you click on that link, this is what you will see. All right, it should say pick, date and time at the top, 30 minute phone call with Christopher right under it. This is the page. Okay, so essentially to set up a time with me, you only need to do four things. Again, you only need to do four things to set up a time to speak with me. All right, let's go through those four things. Number one, the first thing that you want to do is go and pick the time zone that you are in. Okay, if you're already in Eastern time, don't worry about picking anything. But some of you aren't. In fact, many of you in the no merger contest were out west or in the Midwest. Okay, you have the opportunity to pick that here, and it's my biggest suggestion that you do. Okay, because this way the times down here will actually reflect your reality <laughs> as opposed to mine. Okay, so the first thing, pick a time zone. All right. The second thing you want to do is you essentially want to scroll down, okay, and pick the day or days that work best for you to meet with me, okay? For the sake of this tutorial, let's just say that that is a Friday, okay? So Friday the 31st, all right? So as part of you picking a day, you want to pick a time. And what that essentially means is wherever you see a circle that's circled in blue that is under the day that works for you, okay, so for Friday that's this circle. If it was Wednesday, that would be this circle. You want to go down and click on the circle, okay? So second thing, pick a day and then pick a circle. So we're going to do that right now and see what happens. Okay. So once you've picked a circle, okay, this will pop up. Essentially, it is the available times for that particular day, okay? So the third thing you want to do is you want to pick a time, all right? And you can pick any time that works. If you want, you can pick all of them. But for the sake of this example, let's just say that on Friday the 31st, woo, <laughs> on Halloween day, um, the best time for you is 5.30. Okay, so the third thing again is once you go through all these other steps is to pick a time. Click on it like this. When that happens, this will become black and then you need to confirm it. Okay, so you need to click again and just click on confirm. Okay, now that you have done that, <clears throat> you have one, four, one final step, the fourth step, and that is to provide for me your information. Okay, so I need to know who's making an appointment with me. And the way to do that is you have these three text box here. Okay, box number one is for your name. Let's just say that your name is James. Okay, box number two is for your email. As you can see by these two highlighted things up here, these are required. You cannot move out of this page until these two things at the very least are put in by you. Okay, I need this information or else I don't know who you are. Um, and then the third thing here is just a question that I put here is to put a number to call in case like I have to cancel or you have to cancel. Okay, so just give me your number. Okay, and so for the sake of an example, I'm just going to put in a dummy number here. 
Okay. And then the fourth and final thing you want to do after you put in your name, after you put in your email and after you put in a number that I can contact you when this is all over so that, you know, in case something happens is to click schedule event. Okay. So go ahead and click it. All right. And then you're done. That's it. So it should say confirmed. Okay. It should say when we are confirmed for Friday the 31st from 5.30 to 6 Eastern time. Okay. And then essentially, if there were other times that you could speak with me or other days, okay, you can always go back and click on them, okay? Um, and then obviously this is Calendly. Calendly is a business. A business would be, wouldn't, be in, be in, wouldn't be in business if it didn't try to sell you what it was doing. And so here's what it's trying to do, trying to get you to be a part of Calendly. Um, if you're a type A like me, <laughs> I think you'll really like Calendly, okay? So that's um, Calendly and how to set up a time to speak with me and those dip four steps, okay? Um, now what I'd like to do is address the folks that may not be able to meet with me on a time that they see here in Calendly. Here's my answer to that. Um, I'm more than willing to speak, but we'll have to speak next week, okay? So for this upcoming week, you know, I am kind of booked already. Um, <clears throat> if you see a time that's not there, just email me and let me know a time in the following week, which would be November, okay, when you'd like to speak. And I'd love to speak to you. Okay. Well, thank you so much, everyone. And I just really hope I get the opportunity to speak with you. And want, thank you once again for going through the contest, whether you collected five comments or 300. Um, they all added up to our hall. Um, and we are one of the biggest groups out there that collected enough comments for the FCC, which is making a big difference in us stopping this merger. So thank you. And I look forward to speaking to all of you. This is Christopher Casey with Consumers Union signing out um, from this quick tutorial. Have a good one. Bye-bye.